You're watching CNET, the digital domain. The Best of the Web is brought to you by MCI One. Life just got simpler. Are you searching for the nerd within? Worried others know more about the latest net lingo than you do? Well, we've got some sites that could change your life in this week's Best of the Web. Good times, Michelangelo, or how about data crime? Remember these computer viruses? You may have heard the hype and hysteria surrounding these cyber germs. But did you know these viruses were actually media scares or just plain hoaxes? Well, visit the Computer Virus Myths website. You'll learn more about such non-events and urban legends. You'll find stories, protection info, and learn the hard facts about all kinds of deadly computer viruses. And if you want to learn more about computer terms, then head over to netlingo.com. Alphabetized from A to Z, this site is your dictionary for internet terms. From the most basic lingo like what's a browser, to the more advanced terms like what's hot plugging, you'll find lingo for computer users of all experience levels. Hey, if you want to be in the internet, no, this is the place to go. Viruses, net lingo. If you like these sites, let's face it, you're a geek. So we know you'll enjoy this next one. It's the geek site of the day. Dedicated to geek culture, you'll find everything from Star Wars paraphernalia to archived info on programming languages only a geek could love. And out to expose the true geek in all of us, this site offers links to the Dilbert Zone and the Exploding Mac site. But most notable is the Nerd Test. You can take it and find out if you're truly deserving of geekdom. For more Best of the Web, hop over to CNET.com. This week's feature includes a site for moms who want to get online and a site teaching you CGI scripting. Thank you, Gina. You know, I'm willing to bet if you haven't replaced your VCR with some sort of digital video disc player yet, you're thinking about it. Well, guess what? Desmond Crisis is here from CNET Labs, and he says that you don't have to wait for DVD necessarily to play movies on your desktop computer already. That's right, Richard, and that's because there is MPEG encoded videos already available on CD. They've been available for a couple of years now. The cool part is, is they will run on your existing CD-ROM machine with uh, a Pentium 100 or a PowerPC, no additional hardware. Now, we have a movie here with Jackie Chan. I think this is Super Cop, right? Mm -hmm. And it's running on a Power Mac. Let's watch a scene here. No extra hardware. This is a video CD. Ooh. I hope they're just pretending. They always are pretending. Boys, boys. Things. All right. Now, this is a DVD player. This is a scene from an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie, Eraser. Let's watch the DVD version of a movie. Pretty good quality, mm -hmm. too. And, uh, but Arnold has to use a gun. That's right. Jackie good old Chan. American gunplay. <laughs> this is his fist. All right, what's the difference here? First of all, this requires a special player. You can't just play it on an existing machine without putting in about 500 bucks. And the titles cost about $24. Yours is a lot cheaper. Yeah, that's right. This just runs on anything with some software in it that's a Pentium 100 or greater, or if you have a 386 kicking around, you can buy a card for about 100 or $200. And I couldn't help notice that your titles there have Chinese writing on them. Well, that's right, Richard, <laughs> and that's because they came from Chinatown, but they are only 5 to $15 a piece. Yeah, so if you're bargain hunting, it's, it's worth it. And by the way, there are lots of English titles available, too. Mm -hmm. The other thing is, for my extra money, and if I want to wait for more DVD titles, I do get a better picture. This is 640 by 480, that's right? right. And I'm stuck with 320 by 240, so he gets twice the resolution. The other thing is, if you, what it boils down to is if you want to wait and spend the extra bucks, mm -hmm. you can get DVD. If you're cheap like Desmond and want your movies now, you can get it. Resourceful, a, Richard, resourceful. resourceful. And we can show you places online, CNET.com, where you can get some of these titles, both kinds of movies, uh, online and order them on the web. Desmond, thanks again. Without going to Chinatown. Now you have to change discs. That's I right. Don't. Well, As you may have noticed, Star Wars is back, and so far the trilogy has grossed over $225 million in re-release. Well, not to be left out of the action is George Lucas's software division, LucasArts. They're hard at work putting the finishing touches on some brand new Star Wars games for your PC. Without a doubt, Star Wars has made a triumphant return. Darth Vader, Luke Skywalker, Princess Leia, and the rest of the gang are shining brightly at the box office once again. Join me 
and I will complete your training. But if the power of the Force hasn't grabbed you yet on the big screen, how about your PC screen? That's right, the folks at LucasArts are releasing some brand new games, all based on the Star Wars universe, but all with new original storylines. What we've always tried to do in, with the Star Wars property, um, generally with games, is to explore something a little bit different outside of what the movies do. Jack Sorensen heads up Lucas's software empire. You don't have to follow Han Solo, you don't have to follow Luke. You know, it's a big galaxy, so there's a lot going on, and there really is uh, no end to the, the number of unique stories we can tell. So what kinds of games will we find in this galaxy far, far away? Well, for starters, jump into the cockpit of a Star Wars gunner and experience the thrill of space combat in X-Wing versus TIE Fighter. Along with stellar 3D graphics based on actual models used in the Star Wars films, you'll also find a souped-up game engine, full motion video, and cutting-edge sound. But if an arcade space simulation isn't for you, how about a little strategy Star Wars style? Lucas's next game, Rebellion, takes place right after the first Star Wars movie ends. Choose to command the Dark Side or the Rebel Alliance and fight to control the Star Wars universe. You'll need to plan tactical maneuvers, gather resources, and deploy troops all in a real-time environment. And fans of LucasArts' desktop adventure series may want to try Yoda Stories. There is no try. Filled with short game scenarios and fun, easy to solve puzzles, this game is designed to be played under an hour, perfect for the gamer on the go. But probably the biggest game rolling out from LucasArts is Jedi Knight Dark Forces 2. This fast-paced 3D blast fest is sure to rival the likes of Quake and Duke Nukem. As Rebel Warrior Kyle Katarn, you'll explore over 20 3D texture worlds, all with a 360-degree field of vision. And with an arsenal of weapons at your disposal, including your trusty lightsaber, you'll fend off cantina creatures, stormtroopers, and other Imperial enemies. With all of Lucas's games, you'll definitely find the latest in graphics, design, and gameplay. But more noteworthy is an additional feature Sorensen says Star Wars fans have been begging for, network gaming. Just that aspect now of not just playing against a computer, but playing against your friends or people that you've never met before is incredibly exciting, you know, especially in Star Wars Universe. People have not had that uh, ability before. The Star Wars games are due out in the next couple of months, but if you need to feel the power right now, well, by all means, go over to GameCenter.com. They've got a sneak peek at the new Star Wars games, as well as tips, tricks, cheats, and how-tos for all of your favorite games. And, of course, the place to go for information about computers and the Internet is always www.cnet.com. This week, you'll find more info about everything you've seen on this show. Well, that's all for this week's CNET Central. Thanks for tuning in and logging on.